Welcome to Homeschool Nolan, here to help you navigate learning in the digital age. Last week, while having lunch, an old friend and former colleague of mine told me that he was a bit disappointed that his son, who was in college, decided to major in computer science. Now, as someone who's worked in tech over the past two decades, I was surprised he said that. After all, don't we live in the digital age dominated by computers? And isn't computer science one of the most relevant and popular majors today? Sure, there may have been some layoffs recently at big tech companies, but isn't technology here to stay and thus making computer science important for the long term? But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that computer science skills and coding in particular, while still valuable, are no longer enough to ensure success. The world has changed a lot, and you now need to be able to do more than just code. And in this video, I'd like to share some thoughts on what I think teachers and parents can do to better prepare their kids for a fast-changing world. But first, back to my friend. The reason he didn't think computer science was the best major anymore is that he feels that opportunities in tech are very cyclical as opposed to, say, opportunities in medicine. You may have noticed that a lot of tech companies have been recently announcing layoffs, suggesting that we are now indeed on the downside of a cycle, at least for the short term. But as someone who has benefited from working in tech over the past 20 years, I have a feeling that long term, the decades long tech boom we've been experiencing is probably over. And the main reason I feel this way is because of Moore's Law slowing down. Moore's Law is, of course, named after Intel's co-founder, Gordon Moore, who back in 1968 predicted that the speed of microprocessors would double roughly every 18 months. The rapid advancements we saw in computer hardware created an insatiable demand for software and software engineers who could keep writing code to take advantage of the latest chips and hardware. But today, Moore's Law does seem to be approaching the limits of physics and hence slowing down. And hence slowing down the demand for even more people who can write code for the latest hardware. Take our smartphones for example. Sure, the chip inside this phone is more powerful than the one I had 10 years ago, and it has more storage. But I can't really think of anything I can do today on this phone that I couldn't really do 10 years ago, whether it's texting, playing videos, or doing virtual meetings. Now don't get me wrong, the world still needs people who can code, but it needs really good ones who can innovate and solve really difficult problems. So merely learning how to code isn't enough. You also need to stand out among the crowd. And this leads me to my second reason why just learning to code is no longer enough. And that is that the market for coders and software engineers is becoming increasingly crowded and increasingly more competitive. Thanks to the internet, pretty much any person A in the world with a laptop can work as a software engineer. Because so many people, young people, have been encouraged to learn how to code over the past decade, we now have more young adults than ever who know how to code, making it increasingly competitive to get those good paying jobs as computer programmers. It's also easier than ever now to learn how to code, and you definitely don't need a college degree. The abundance of free online tutorials and classes that teach coding have definitely lowered the barrier to entry for anyone interested in becoming a coder. So if you want to have an edge in today's world as a software engineer, just learning to code isn't enough. You need to be either one of the best, which by definition, most of us can't be, or you must be able to combine your skills in coding with another skill, trade, or profession. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, said it best in a recent interview with CNBC, in which he basically said that there are more software engineering jobs outside the tech industry than in the tech industry. He went on to say 
that there's not an auto company that doesn't need software engineers. There's not an energy company that doesn't need software engineers. And there's not a retailer or a bank that doesn't need software engineers. In other words, the best opportunities for software engineers in the years ahead won't necessarily be in the famous big tech companies. It will instead be in many specific industries that need software developers who also understand their business or field and have specific industry expertise to write software and solve problems for them. There are a lot of industries and jobs out there that at first glance may not seem like high tech jobs, but they definitely require tech and computer code to operate in the digital age. And it's never too early to start making our kids aware of the opportunities that await them when they grow up. Last week at the library, I came across this book, Jobs If You Like Computers, which I enjoyed reading with my seven-year-old daughter. Now, the jobs listed in this book include game developer, electrical engineer, forensic scientist, meteorologist, oceanographer. But the job that stood out to me the most was robotics. Robotics is all about writing software that machines can use to do useful tasks, whether it's driving a car, assembling a product in a factory, or building a hamburger in a restaurant. Now, as a mechanical engineering major in college, robotics is definitely something I recommend getting into. I think it's gotten a lot more interest lately because of advances in both computer hardware as well as artificial intelligence. It's definitely an exciting field that people who know how to code should definitely take a look at. By the way, if you're looking for an online platform for learning, check out study.com. Study.com has over 8,300 engaging videos, including introductory courses in computer science, coding, and robotics. I use it with my son. And we find it a great way to support his homeschooling as well as my own supplemental learning. Use the coupon code HOMESCHOOLNOLAN and get 30% off the first three months. Check out Study.com today. There are so many things that we rely on today in our everyday lives such as our cars, our phones, and even our refrigerators that use computers. And as long as there are computers in this world, there will always be a need for software engineers and people who can code. But just learning to code is no longer enough to succeed. You need to be one of the best or know how to apply the power of software to solve complex problems in a particular field. So, if you're someone who already knows how to code, I hope this video has encouraged you to seek out opportunities beyond coding. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.